We have two Thanksgivings today. I know leather may not seem like the greatest thing to wear for Thanksgiving, but these are huge. Yes, I don't need too much now. God, that's like right on my nose. See, Trevor, I told you it's Christmas. She handed it to me and I was like, now it's Thanksgiving. Good morning, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. We are getting ready for two Thanksgiving celebrations today. I just had some bacon, having my coffee. I wanted to try doing coffee like after I've already eaten something. I know that if you have like high cortisol levels, which I'm pretty positive I do, that doing caffeine first thing on an empty stomach is like not good for that because it can like even further heighten cortisol levels. So trying to be better about like doing coffee just a little bit later in the morning, but it's hard because like that's what gets me up out of bed, you know? Especially on a day like today where we're gonna be running around. Mm. But yeah, I just made up some bacon really quick. So I can have something to munch on so that I can have my coffee. But like I said, we have two Thanksgivings today. Just how it goes. We're heading up to Trevor's dad's house in a little bit. I gotta start getting ready because I'm definitely not going like this. But we're heading up to his house and I'm so excited for the food there because they don't do turkey, they do duck and oh my god the duck is so good they did that for the first time last year and i just i could not stop raving about the duck so i'm really really excited about that and then this year for my family it's so no one wanted to host thanksgiving like usually we do every holiday we do a big extended family celebration but for some reason for thanksgiving in particular this year everyone was refusing to host so unfortunately we will not be doing our traditional big extended family thanksgiving which i am definitely really sad about especially because the food spread is better when it's you know like this huge potluck because we don't just do thanksgiving food we also do like filipino food and stuff which works out for trevor because he hates thanksgiving food but yeah there will be no filipino food this thanksgiving so he uh, didn't exactly look out on that one. But we are gonna be going to Fleming's tonight with my parents. So we are still gonna get together. It's just gonna be a much more like mild Thanksgiving celebration. And I think Fleming's has like a prefix Thanksgiving menu and it actually looks really good. Funny story actually, one of our neighbors is actually one of the chefs at Fleming's. So we were joking that we'll probably see him a little bit later. But I need to start getting ready. I'm thinking, I didn't, wash my hair last night because i'm thinking today i'm just gonna leave my hair in like a slicked back bun that just feels like the way i want to go especially with my outfit for tonight i would wear this outfit to both thanksgivings but trevor dad has a black roddy and a black pitbull and they both shed a lot and the outfit that i want to wear to fleming's tonight is on the lighter side at least the pants are and i love playing with the dogs the roddy is like the sweetest girl ever she just wants to like have a paw on you or a limb on you so i'm gonna wear something darker to his dad's place so that i don't have to worry about like black animal fur on me i'm just gonna finish on my coffee mm. I made it really good today i used a different shot today it was like in the sampler pack i might order that next time but anyways i'm gonna finish this up and then get ready and then we're gonna head out of here to thanksgiving number one so i just grabbed an order that came in last night I never went to go get it from our mailbox and I got this Urban Renewal sweater from Urban Outfitters and I'll put a photo of what it looked like on the screen online but this looks nothing like it <laughs> at all like if you guys see the photo right here this does not look anything like it like it was supposed to be well it is cable knit but it was supposed to be shorter, although this is a raw edge. I could just cut it myself. And it was supposed to be like a lighter gray. I think that's the part that I don't like the most is how dark it is. I had wanted a lighter gray. Although I do have like a light gray long sleeve crop already. So yeah, it's pro probably fine, but 
was thinking I'll wear this to Who the first one. Who are you talking to? Camera. I just have to grab some. Sorry, Trevor came downstairs naked. Clearly all of that was cut out. But I, I don't hate it. It is darker and longer than I wanted, but you know, like I said, I can just cut it. But since I do already have like a light gray long sleeve, yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it and cut it. It's just the color that I'm the most disappointed with, but it's all good. So here's what it looks like on. I just wanted to try it before I cropped it myself. I don't even know if I have to. Maybe, maybe just like a little crop. Maybe just like a half inch or so. I'm just scared of cutting it all jagged. I might leave it for today and then if, you know, as I'm wearing it and stuff, I feel like I want it shorter for future wears. I can always cut it later. But this is fine for you now. I'm thinking just like with a pair of jeans and some cute booties because it's just very casual at his dad's. I'm gonna wear like my biggest jeans so that I can just like sit and be fine. And I won't feel the need to be unbuttoned because I am gonna go ham on that duck. You guys don't even understand. Sir, you ditched me downstairs and I was very sad. I was so, you can't have coffee, mister. No, absolutely not. You ditched me. So I've got like five minutes to get ready right now. I did not realize how far behind I was running. So all I have to do is put my hair up in this slick back bun. Shouldn't take that long, but I'm sure you guys can tell on the outfit, or at least on the top, I did a 180. I like totally forgot that I have the Abercrombie leather pants. And when I was looking for bottoms for my sweater, I found it and like, I decided I wanted to do the leather pants instead. Um, but I'll show you guys the full outfit after I do my hair. I still have like leftover tonsure in here because I did my hair in just like a low ponytail yesterday and I put a lot, like a lot of tonsure in. So it's actually pretty slick as is. I just need to finish off some like baby hairs and stuff. I realized I cut a little bit of a chemical cut in the front of my hair as I asked to like go hard on the bleach on my last hair session. So I think I need to not pressure my hairstylist to go so light in the front on my next one because I think my hair's just getting a little bit tired. Let it have like a little bit of a break. Although I kind of do want to go really blonde in the front because I might do something drastic on my next touch up. You guys will see. I usually try to like braid if I'm putting my hair in a bun because I have a lot of layers and I feel like the braid just keeps everything in a lot better, but okay. Bun, let's smooth everything out. Looking good? Okay. I need my tonto stick. Let's get all the flyaways. I'm gonna go on hard with this because like this needs to last all day. I can touch it up before we go to dinner tonight, but for the most part, this cannot move. I think we're good. Let me just go over it with the brush one more time. Okay, do I need anything in here? No, but I need to do perfume, grab a bag, and put on some jewelry. I definitely want to do hoops if my hair's gonna be like this. So I went with these hoops, a little bit big, but they like make a statement. Actually, do I like this? Should I do smaller hoops? I think smaller hoops. These just look a little bit much, you know? I think that they're downstairs because I wore them yesterday. So here's the full outfit. Top is from Amazon. It's actually a workout top, but it looks like really nice when you pair it with the right bottoms. So I have on the Abercrombie leather pants. This one has the asymmetrical waist and I know leather may not seem like the greatest thing to wear for Thanksgiving, but these are huge on me. I have so much room in them. I sized up a lot in these because I didn't realize that the leather was actually stretchy. And then for my boots, these are the Belmira boots from Shoe Dazzle. I just have on these tiny hoops from Amazon. Then you guys saw me do my hair, but I'm gonna grab my Speedy and then we're gonna head out here. We visited Trevor's dad and stepmom for a little while, then we came back and took Spartacus to the park so that he could get out today. It was cute. We saw like so many people at the park just going on a walk or walking their dogs probably after 
eating a Thanksgiving meal and stuff, but I'm getting ready because we're gonna leave to go have dinner with my family. So I'm just touching up my hair a little bit, making sure it's still nice and sleek. But Fleming's here is actually located in the mall here at Fashion Island. So Trevor and I, we're gonna go a little bit early and go walk around the mall. Nothing's open, but I think that they have Christmas decor up and stuff. Well, some things are open, obviously, because Fleming's is. We just kind of like wanted to walk around, check it out, but I'm doing a quick touch up on my makeup. It hasn't actually shifted too much today, so I don't think I have to do much. I do want to powder it, which of course I forgot the powder. Grab my powder. I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in 350. This is like my perfect match. Even if I'm like wearing a foundation that doesn't match my face color very well, I just go over it with this powder and I'll like even it out every time. But I'm just gonna blot the T-zone, make sure I'm not too shiny anywhere. Also, obviously it changed into outfit number two. I'll show you guys the full outfit in a little bit. Taking the Patrick Ta for face, it's the She Sculpted Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. I already had the cream contour on earlier, but I'm just gonna go over it with the powder just to kind of warm up the skin, give a little bit of definition, kind of reapply some of that dimension that I lost throughout the day. Just a quick refresh, nothing too crazy. I'm also kind of like upgrading the makeup for nighttime. Picking the Sephora Eye Love Palette. Just gonna deepen my shadow. Just in the creases, give it a little bit more of a nighttime vibe. Taking that dark brown up here and blending it high on the crease. Just, you see, just a little bit more smokiness. Just making it a little bit more night vibes and then taking the black i'm gonna go over my liner just in case any of it has chipped off throughout the day i'm actually gonna also smoke out the edges of this liner oh there we go there's the difference daytime nighttime i'm gonna repeat the same steps on the other eye Sorry guys, the TV is on. Trevor is napping right now. He falls asleep with the TV on. We both do actually. Since he was napping, it's still on from that. You should be up pretty soon. I don't think it's gonna take him that long to get ready. But I knew I wanted to redo some stuff, so figured I'd get started now. Probably leave here in about half an hour. Taking flurries from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is one of her accent highlighters. This is a limited edition color, but I just love all of our highlights. But I'm gonna highlight my inner corner, kind of bring it up. Been loving doing that. The, the brow bone, just to refresh the eye. I feel like reapplying the inner corner highlight makes your makeup look so fresh because I think it's like one of the first things to go as you're wearing your makeup. So just refreshing it makes it look brand new. Actually, my blush held up pretty well, I'm shocked. Usually blush comes off really easily on me, but I am just gonna lightly retouch it because I did go over everything with the powder so I think I might have lost a little bit of blush but I don't want to go too heavy because I'm gonna wear a darker look tonight just do another coat of mascara again just to refresh it because we've been going over the face with powder it's lost some deepness yeah a lot of that came off I hate the face that you have to make to apply your lower lash mascara it's so annoying I'm almost wondering if I want to put a little bit of black on my lower lash line. I think I do. We're not trying to be like crazy smoky or anything, but I just feel like just a little bit. It's like touching out here on the outside corner, kind of like connecting the wing down into the lower lash line. There you go. Just, just that little bit adds a little bit extra smokiness if you compare it. Just a light dusting of highlighter. Well, this isn't last, actually. Then for my lips, I do want to go ahead and test out this color tonight. I've used this formula before. This is the Urban Decay Vice Bond Lipstick. They don't have the full name of the lipstick on here, but it's like the Vice Bond Liquid Lipstick or something like that. This one is in the color Raw Footage. Oh, should I have done lip liner? I always skip on lip liner when I do a red lip. It's so bad. But do you guys see? It's like a deep wine color. And I have this formula in a different color. I really fucking love it. Never at any point is it drying, but it's so long lasting. Ooh, she's ready for a nighttime event. 
We got that. Dropping my lipstick in here. I don't need sunglasses, so we'll take that out. Yes, I brought out this bag just for the Big Bear trip and I haven't put it back. I just, I guess I'm using it now. I still have gloves in here from Big Bear. <laughs> Where is, I know my perfume is in here. I used it earlier. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna reapply the Mason Margella Replica Jazz Club perfume. You guys, I just sprayed it onto my face. Yes, I don't need too much now. God, that's like right on my nose. <laughs> But anyways, okay, just a couple spritzes. Oh, I'm drowning in it now. Holy crap. Woo. That's fine. It'll, it'll wear off. But anyways, okay. Here is the outfit for tonight. Please don't. I know that. But I have the Abercrombie wide leg trousers and then this Revolve cropped sweater. I believe that my fall haul has already gone up of just like Actually, these two pieces are from the fall haul, so definitely check that out if you guys have missed it. But yeah, that's the outfit. And then I have a pair of nude booties in the car that I'm gonna wear this. Actually, I should, I might as well go ahead and grab that. But I left jewelry the same since I'm leaving my hair the same. Just did the small gold hoops, but I'm gonna go grab my shoes. Grabbed my shoes. I'm trying to debate if I even need a jacket because it's still warm outside. Today was like a pretty, it wasn't like a super hot Thanksgiving, but it was like 81 degrees when we left Trevor's dad's house but there is a little bit of a wind but it's like a warm wind so I don't know like I feel like maybe I'll grab the jacket for my car on our way out just in case but um here are the booties that I'm wearing with this outfit as soon as Trevor wakes up and gets dressed again we're gonna head out of here so that we can walk around the mall a little bit before we head to dinner okay Trevor's up and he's getting dressed and I was trying to this looks so flat but whatever anyways trying to like figure out what jacket to wear and i remembered my sister actually has one of my jackets that she's bringing she borrowed some for a new york trip so since she's bringing that jacket i'll just go without one plus i don't i don't think i really need one like i said it's windy but it's like a warm wind hopefully it doesn't get any colder than that but i also realized you guys my lips match my nails like so perfect look at that coordination Love it. So we're on our way. Trevor's wearing his cashmere. That is really soft. How long have you had that again? Two years. Damn. And taking good care of it. Yep. Never wash it. <laughs> so not really. No, I'm kidding. I dry clean it. Oh, okay. Do you want to watch a movie when we get home? Um, sure. What movie though? I was trying to like look up Thanksgiving movies. I can't really find there anything that we haven't. Zero Thanksgiving. There's no good ones. There's a bunch, but they all look horrible. And I know you didn't like that movie Friendsgiving. We gave it a um, shot. Yeah, and then the what was the other one with the guy? Gotcha. The one about the guy who goes back to his place or his like old town. And they like play football, turkey bowl. Yeah, and that was bad too. You don't like and that I one. was really hoping okay. it would be good. I know, we need like a good, why are there no good Thanksgiving movies? Do, right? Do people just like they give up? They automatically just wait for Christmas. I know, well I mean like, if someone could make like a really good Thanksgiving movie, that could make like a lot of money because everyone would watch it every single year on Thanksgiving. I agree. But like, it's like they, they go try to make a good Thanksgiving movie and they just like give up and just make a, shitty Thanksgiving movie. We we could watch a Christmas movie, but the problem is like our Christmas movie list only has like what, 22 movies? So we're already short three days. Yeah, I, I don't, and that's movies. Like what are the odds that I'm gonna be able to watch a movie every day? Oh, well we could watch one of the Christmas movies then. We could. Get started, wow. get in the spirit. Let's think about it's it. Christmas. The Christmas spirit? It's Christmas. Not yet. No we still got another day. Ugh. Starting at midnight, it's Christmas. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. See, Trevor, I told you it's Christmas. Wow. Wow. Love it. That's where we're going for dinner, but we're gonna walk around and hang out first. What? Oh, no. <laughs> back 
Spartacus is eating. Gave him a little bit of turkey in there, you know, to be festive. But every year my sister makes this dessert called pumpkin gooey. And even though we were going to a restaurant, she still made it and brought me some. And you guys, I'm so excited. It looks so, oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Like, she handed it to me and I was like, now it's Thanksgiving. Oh my god, she gave me such a big one. <gasps> Yum. I'm not even cutting off a piece. I am just a good Mm. However you want some? No, I'm okay. Your popcorn is ready. Yeah, I know. Mm. So you don't want any of this at all ever, got it? Not right now. Mm -mm. Nope, all for me, forever. So we settled on the holiday, to, even though, truthfully I'd love to save this for deeper into Christmas, but it's fine. It'll work for Thanksgiving. We just finished watching the holiday, and we're heading up to bed because we actually are gonna get up kind of early tomorrow because we're gonna do a little big Black Friday shopping purchase. So make sure that you are subscribed for the next vlog, but I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving and I will see you guys in the next one.